You guys ever meet somebody for the first time? You're like talking to a girl at the bar, you know, you're just like sliding up and you're like, hey, uh, you know, like my name is, for example, Brandon, that's my name. You could use that name or like your real name. And you ever just like, you know, you're listening to them, you're talking for a while, you're kind of like, wow, this is going really great. And then you just hit them with one of these, <laughs> you know? What's up, y'all? It's Travis with Sunday Sauce. On my way to get bureaucratic for the first ever producers and in cars interview. So I'm really excited for this segment. Hope y'all enjoy. And yeah, the Sunday sauce. <laughs> Yo, got some leftover bagel here because that's uh, if you guys don't know anything about New York, the yeah. first thing you should know is that the bagels here are the best. Also, the pizza, pretty much anything that has to do with bread. Yeah. Yeah, if you come out here and don't get bagels and or pizza, you just, you, you're playing yourself. You're, just, you're messing oh, up. Boy. So last last weekend also when we had the show with like, it was Moods, Nick was here, um, Ian Ewing and his buddy Ty Beck who plays them live. And uh, so yeah, we had this like huge crew and we literally got bagels every day. Oh yeah. We just like rolled through the spot, which oh, is just a couple blocks up from here. Oh my God. A short walk. And it was just like, every day we would wake up really slowly, feeling very bad and oh, drunk God. and hung over. And, uh, and it would just be like, there would just be this slow consensus amongst everyone. The hangover cure, fun. man. It you really get, is. When you're, ha when you're hungover and you're in New York, you get a bagel with butter, just like loaded up, greasy, and then you get bacon, a bacon, egg, and, egg and cheese, cheese. Baby, if you're if bacon, egg, and cheese, like is the move, and then you're slipping. If and you then bacon any bacon. kind of Gatorade or iced coffee <laughs> to like help numb the pain. Oh man, the real nutrition. Yeah, yeah. So if people have either not seen you before perform, or they have not come to one of our shows and mm. like seen you or whatever, um, what could they expect? from a live, a live show from Bureaucratic. Basically what I do is an original set, it's all music that I made. I do a pretty continuous set of my tracks with keyboard lines and like synths. And uh, the big thing, the main component is my bass, which I love and play in just about every single one of my tracks. It's just kind of like a wild, funky dance party at this point mm -hmm. with, uh, with some hip hop's, you know, hip hop groove and hip hop yeah. soul and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So like, my live set is honestly significantly less chill. Yes. Than <laughs> my body of work because I love to focus. I mean, like, we, you, you're hanging out with a bunch of people in a club. You're all turning up. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta respect that. You know, yeah, everybody's yeah, got yeah. a drink in hand. They want to move a little bit. Yep. You gotta move your butt. Mm -hmm. And uh, and the bass really just makes that happen. I think. Yep. It's just it's my favorite instrument to play live. It's just yeah. so fun. And if you haven't seen Brandon live go see him yeah basically get a flight to new york if you haven't seen yeah. me live that's where i play all the yeah, time yeah new but, york and um, yeah people ask hopefully me a lot some other cities hopefully some other city soon yeah explain how to actually say your name for the people okay because a lot of people get it wrong yeah yeah <laughs> bureaucratic that is how you pronounce my name my name is brandon rowan so people do like the j-lo thing they call me b row mm -hmm. uh, my initials and that became I just like made a word out of that and then I was like you know what I'm just gonna make that my name mm -hmm. you have a lot more like electronic stuff going on that's yeah like super super dope like you have the Grizz remix and like the dirty dirty remix too yeah you did. I'm curious to know yeah. kind of like what caused the the change in that movement and like your kind of sound basically I've been like I've been doing the sample based like chill hop thing for pretty much like five plus years now yeah. um, and at a certain point somewhat recently I realized like I'm really interested in kind of switching things up and exploring new things I think that's a pretty natural thing for a lot of artists to feel you know all the music I've been listening to recently is more along the electronic side of things like Moods who was actually here last mm -hmm. weekend chilling with us yeah he's shout out to Moods he's truly super one of my favorite. dope yeah he kind of bridges the gap between house and hip-hop and funk and like in a really musical way Homo and K Trinata also yeah. great examples I think of people who do that so like that's kind of where I've been, you know, toying with experimenting. To me, it's an evolution. It's, it's you know, 
really just like I have the ability to explore this now and mm -hmm. I'm really interested in doing so and so like you know, the new music that I have out in January uh, kind of started to reflect that. It's a little bit yeah. more dancey and it just makes me like really hype and I'm, yeah. I'm very excited about it. I'm, I'm curious to see how everyone reacts to it, yeah. but also like tough because it's me now. Yeah. It's me still, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think a lot of people are scared to do that sometimes because they, they like what they've been doing. I mean, don't get me wrong, man. I am pretty scared about this transition too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's it, it is something of a creative risk for me, and it's yeah. not like I haven't taken those like mm -hmm. you know, small steps. But at the same time, at a certain point, you kind of have to just jump off of you know the proverbial cliff and just do what it is that you really want to do. And it's not that I don't love the music that I have made and mm -hmm. am still making, frankly. Yeah. It's just that I have ground to cover, I think. Yeah, and yeah. if I'm gonna be doing this forever, I need to plant my my feet in the ground in terms of. Like this is my career. I gotta mm -hmm. make it my career. Is there anyone you're looking to work with too? Yeah. So I've been I've been pretty closed off about like you know collaborating with other people. And I think at a certain point you realize like you really just can't do it all yourself. Yeah. And you shouldn't try. Like yeah. it's, a, it's a lot of undue pressure that I put on myself. Like I'm my own worst critic. And sometimes I just go on these thought loops when I'm producing. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sure anyone who produces yeah. and is just like working from their bedroom all the time like right. understands that at a certain point in time you really have to open up the process to other mm -hmm. people. Even if you're just looking for feedback. Like we did um, this past weekend, I had a bunch of people over my place because we had the show that was at Sunnyvale yeah. with moods with Ian yeah. Ewing and with the count and myself and what we did for the rest of the weekend because everyone was kind of chilling for like two mm -hmm. days the show is Friday night and everyone pretty much stayed till Sunday or Monday is I just had everybody over and we all just piled into my room where I had my studio and we just like shared each other's work in progress yeah. and just gave each other honest feedback and there was nothing like that vibe yeah. of like being around a trusted space yeah. with actual homies that you're connecting with some like for some of us it was really the first time we got to know each other was like through each other's music. right right um is it takes something that like we foster online yeah. which is incredible in yeah. its own right but then to bring that into like in in the flesh like yeah we're in the same space right we are you know sharing some some really and, and personal we're all work. and we're all doing it together yeah. like you know that's the thing yeah, it just, I don't know, it was a really special thing. I, mm -hmm. Guys, like, I can't, if you're if you're yeah. interested in doing that sort of thing where you just, like, yeah. have a bunch of people over, I don't know yeah. how feasible it is if you live yeah. in sort of, like, your own city. Yeah, no, what, yeah, what I would away, say, yeah, for, like, me, for what I would say, if there's ever anyone out there who's able to travel and meet people that they've known online, take the extra two days and go out and, like, mm -hmm. just be with these people because you never know when the next time you'll be able to hang with them is. Well, and that's the point, right? Yeah. Like, the beauty of it all is like, yeah. what, I mean, outside, like beyond just the music, yeah, like beyond yeah, yeah. the business and like, you know, I'm trying to like collab and connect right. and whatever, like and build fam. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know, we just like, I just connected with those people. Yep. And like, you know, I had met them a few times before, at least most of the people right. in the room, but like, you know, a handful of times, but yeah. now I feel so much closer to them. Right, and right. that is really what this all, like the end of the day, mm -hmm. when all the game pieces go back in the box right, at the end right. of the game, like, that's what I want to be able to say. So yeah. I've also had you on the Strawberry Drizzle compilation and yeah. the Caramel Drizzle compilation. Yeah. Uh, if you guys have not heard them, go check them out. They're super dope. What I love about these compilations is the variety. Mm -hmm. um, because basically the prompt is like, I want your best funk tune. Mm -hmm. But that can take on so many forms. And yeah. It definitely did. You can look at like a guy like... Uh, Sabe, because his tune was like super chill. Yeah, and, like groovy groovy, blues. it was literally yeah. called Groovy Blues. And, so and then we have, then you have, guitar. then you flip the entire script and you go into this like Falcone track. It keeps it upbeat and it's like flavorful and it's like super just fun and energetic and um, well done like, and really well done and really well done. Like that whole release kind of varies from like the super up t tempo like 80s disco to like the super chill like study beat kind of stuff mm. yo thank you guys so much for tuning in hope y'all enjoyed our first episode of producers and cars if you want to check out any more of sunday sauce or any more of bureaucratic check the links in the description below make sure to like subscribe share post i don't care all that good stuff really excited for this segment got a lot more on the way and thank you guys again for watching sunday sauce